Uh, the big Dallas uh, BMW Dallas Marathon coming up this weekend. Those carbs as well. You got to get ready. Carbo loading. No long runs, though. Those are behind you mm -hmm. uh, until Sunday. So this is year number 49 for the marathon. Our Chris thought he found some video from those first few races for today's Daybreak Rewind. Check it out. Here's my host, Connected K, who I'm trying to get to run the marathon. He's made his name on the air. So you should think about doing like the 5K next year. In the but Mark year. Hawkeye Lewis can also pound some pavement. Yeah, I started running uh, the BMW Dallas Marathon about uh, 14 years ago. Now as the marathon's vice president, he knows it's every turn. And it used to be just a handful of friends put this event on. One of the things that's constantly changed about the marathon, where you start, and where you finish. In 2012, they moved the starting line back downtown from Fair Park. But in those first few years at White Rock Lake, the marathon came full circle, literally. It started out as the White Rock Marathon, and they would circle White Rock Lake like two and a half times. And video from 1971, preserved in the SMU Jones Film Library, shows that very group of runners circling the lake. The route has changed a lot, but still revolves around White Rock. People insist that we run around the lake because it's kind of the legacy of the marathon because it started at the lake, and that's probably really the epicenter of running in Dallas. And even in those early years, the marathon didn't just give us winners. Yeah, I've got to hit my best, but I haven't hit it yet. It gave us inspiration, like this woman who finished the 1976 race carrying her soon-to-be-born baby. We're gonna run the marathon. Or this man in 2005 who couldn't be stopped not even by blindness. The minute I put on those running shoes and get out on the course, I'm not the blind man anymore. I'm a runner. This is incredible. Or just two years ago, a moment that traveled the world. It's probably the most famous moment in the BMW Dallas Just Marathon. There, she's given everything she possibly has to get to this finish line. And every person who crosses that finish line, the few hundred in 1971, the nearly 18,000 this weekend, and all of them in between, they complete their story while adding to another. Uh, this was really started as a grassroots effort 50 years ago with a bunch of running friends who decided they wanted to have a marathon, and now it's grown into one of the largest marathons in the U.S. In downtown Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegui. That is what running is all about, those stories, and you mm -hmm. continue to see all the people that make it across that finish line. I mean, that is truly what it's all about. Oh, yeah, and you meet them along the way, and you yeah. talk to them, and you draw inspiration mm -hmm. from them, and also the crowds and the fan support, there is nothing like it. I ran the, uh, back then, it was called the White Rock. Mm -hmm. um, in 2004, that was my first half marathon, and it is a great course. It yeah. is a fast course. I'm excited about it. Oh, you are going to love it. So you're doing the half. I'm doing the half. Cleo yes. is. is Izzy is as well, mm -hmm. and um, Chris Lawrence, and then Teresa Woodard is doing the, the full. full. Good for yes. her. Yeah. <laughs> I did the uh, San Francisco Half Marathon a few years ago, and I feel like watching this footage, I am inspired to I sign know. up for next year's BMW Dallas Marathon. So All right. Yay. I think. Uh, I love hold it. Hold me to it. Hold yeah. me to it. Oh, don't worry. This we is will. Recorded. Yeah. Let me get yeah. it. I got to set right a new don't personal record. It, save it. Yeah, and it's much easier than San Francisco with all those hills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, although I chose in San Francisco, you can choose the first half or the last half. I chose the less hilly oh. of the two. There you go. Of course. Smart. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called. All right, still to come on.